So welcome to RezoBiz. This will be episode number 11 of the Hot Rod series. Um, it's going to be a challenging um, series this week. We're going to be putting in F-holes. We're going to work on a neck, getting the uh, fretboard prepped just a little bit, and then um, maybe some side braces, inner bracing, and things like that. So stick with us, and uh, let's see what we can get done this week. I'm Burl with Bro Guitars, and welcome to RezoBiz, where everything is greater with a resonator. So I'm going to cut out some F holes now, and I've already drilled a couple of holes to get me started. Finish up. With that one. It looks crazy. Um, it's <laughs> now cut. Six holes cut in the top of it, I should just leave it like that. kind of crude but I mean shapes there now I got to get a uh, have to bevel the inside of these braces here and um, normally these have braces that go or sound holes cut in a circle and then braces that go across kind of an angle on the back but because I didn't have I'm not putting braces on it at all that's why these looks like lungs stuck in it. Um, kind of, uh, kind of uh, thicker pieces of uh, not thicker. It thickens up the top and um, all together. Once you put the two pieces together, nice pieces of mahogany stuck in there, and uh, it it looks like overbraced, but um, it's not a guitar. It's a dope, and I don't think it's going to hurt it for, for this. Plus, there's just so much space that the uh, F holes are letting the sound come out. So, um, 
just it's just a real big sound. But it's well braced. We'll bevel that so that the, the sound can flow out well. We'll clean this up. A lot of times I break or I uh, bind this. I'm not binding this guitar. Um, not this time. This is going to be a, something a little bit different for the Hot Rod series, but I just I got something in my head of how I'm going to do it, and it's going to be all black. And if you've never seen realistic flames, <laughs> we're going to torch this thing. Um, I like the old school uh, flames when I was painting hot rods, but then when I seen real real flames true flames they would call them. I always called them realistic. Um, boy, I never wanted to go back to the old school style. And it, it looks like this thing will be set on fire. You say, why would you want to burn a Dobro? Well, we're not burning a Dobro. It's just going to look like we're burning a Dobro. So, no binding. Black, and I'm, I'm not 100% sure. We'll have a black, or uh, I've got some other thoughts on how we're going to do the cover plate and hardware. But it's going to be a pretty sleek looking uh, guitar. It's coming together. I'm excited. I started to say, I usually put binding in these. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to round it over a little bit, smooth it up, and uh, just leave it real clean. And the spice, the trimming, is going to be in the flames, not the, the binding. We'll just keep it so it doesn't get too busy. There's our F-holes. Turn those off. That should work. holes in. I'm uh, pretty tickled with them. I like the I like the, the way they turned out. I like working working with this black locust. Um, it seems denser. It has a higher pitch um, tone as I rub on it. It seems like um, I have to get it a little thinner than I'm thinking of rock maple. Um, just because it's so hard, it really does remind me in some ways, not as not as much, but um, I'm working with leopard wood also right now, um, and I feel like it's more like a rosewood, but this reminds me of a rosewood a little bit more. Very, very hard um, wood, but it, it works nice. I, I've enjoyed it, I've liked it. Uh, so we got our, our F holes in, we have side bracing in, um, and we have the fretboard prepped a little bit. I love I love the uh, sap wood on the edge of this and I was really wanting to use it but um, I'm not going to. I've got it stenciled out um, and we got it planed down and I got it stenciled out. I don't know if you can see the marks on there or not but uh, that next week we will cut the fret frets in it and then we will cut the shape of the fretboard out and start marking it for um, frets. I think I've got a neat idea for frets, or fret markers uh, for, we'll see, it's sort of developing as we go. But uh, thank you for watching, and if you liked it, hit the like button if you would, and subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for videos for next week. And we'll be working on the back, 
fretboard, some of the neck. Didn't get to the neck bolts this week, probably will next week. Thank you for watching.